Hello and welcome. Today we have this uh, 18 volt 5 amp DeWalt battery. I'm going to show you the fault in this and it's not going. Um, I'm going to get it open and show you what is the issue. This is a fairly common fault and I'll show you what it is. Because if this happened to your battery, you could moan about the quality of DeWalt and say DeWalt, uh, if this failure is quite common, you could complain that that's uh, that reflects in DeWalt badly. But if this happened to your battery, you see this broken connection that's burnt out here. That is effectively the weakest link in your battery, and it's the weakest link for a reason. That's a fuse. Because if this happened to your battery, it most likely saved your ass this could have stopped your battery going on fire the cells overloading that sort of thing so this is actually a good thing that this exists and the other good thing if, you, if you're in the know you can actually get your battery going again by reconnecting this but reconnecting this properly you could solder across that with some heavy solder um, you could do many things but I use light nickel strip and that is perfect for the task. Stuff like this is very fine. And you can cut it quite you can cut that in half basically and put it across here. And you have another fuse just the same as it probably would be lighter than the original. I never put it really heavier than the original. Still people complain in the comments section think I'm putting heavy strip on, but I am I can assure you I am not. This is quite a bad melting. You see it's melted part of the body as well. So you would have wanted that to happen. So before you complain about your DeWalt battery giving up, something like that most likely saved your ass. So don't complain. Just fix it properly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.